Okay, everyone, it has finally happened. Christmas is coming to our big major retailers, and today we're starting out at Walmart. These super cute frosted faux trees with the wicker, burlap, and leather bases. They come in a variety of heights, and it looks like they're all right at that $20 range. Next up are these super fun, very rustic, whimsical uh wood ornaments these are actual real wood they are solid they are three dollars a piece really really sweet remind me a lot of montessori trees next up are these cool metallic or metal i shouldn't say metallic ornaments with the reindeer and then the watercolor christmas tree and owl this three-piece set is right around ten dollars these scream scandinavian to me um, however i do know that the owl is actually bad omen for other cultures so i guess beware of that that berry wreath was really cool too but i'm loving this little metal uh, tree for $10. Very unique. And that one's giving me very Western vibes. For those of you who don't know, I live on a working cattle ranch in Nevada. So that definitely matches our decor here. Next up, I love how they are already putting out their sets. So this beautiful red, really rich stocking with a cute plaid, but then also this matching 96 piece shatterproof ornament set for $30. That is a steal. Love that. Love the colors. Um, I love this nice woolly tree skirt. I also love that it has a waterproof under base. That's excellent. And then look at all the cute matching ribbons that go with this set. So we have um, 18 feet of ribbon for six bucks. It's a pretty good deal. Um, wired ribbon, which is perfect for present wrapping. Love this one with the pine cones. Lots of neutrals. I feel like a lot of these, you could actually carry these in other times of the year. I also love this reindeer one, of course. Now, this star caught my attention because it has little mini trees on it. Not really my style, but I thought that was kind of fun. Um, next up, this is kind of a unique hanging style of decor we've seen everywhere this year. It's very pottery barn um, or like Pier 30, not Pier 39, Pier 1. That's what it is um, <laughs> um, with the watercolor paper and the simple words. Now, black and white is a huge trend again this year for Christmas. I know a lot of people who decorate in minimalism and farmhouse and Scandinavian all love the black and white. So there's three different styles of these little felted trees. And again, matching stockings for $8. Love the palm. This is a really industrial stocking. So these will last many years. I also love how they have some not frosted evergreen options. Um, this little guy in the leather base is $10. And of course, my favorite, the gnomes are back. If you're new here, um, fun fact, I am half Norwegian. And so gnomes are a big part of Scandinavian folklore. And I personally love seeing gnomes at Christmas. I know some people are over it, but for five bucks, these super cute weighted gnomes are so, so sweet. Speaking of gnomes, don't worry, we're going to get to even more. But first, these really fun pop of black and white jumbo sized ornaments shatterproof of course we love that now you can get gnomes pretty much at every store right now um, I love how they have varying heights but they also have varying color palettes I love how not all of their gnomes look exactly alike so we have some with a nice grayed and blacked beard we have these fun pink gnomes with their kind of uh, really woolly looking beards and then behind them, they have a different style, more conical gnomes with more of the oatmeal color palette as well as a soft pink as well. And these are not hollow inside, um, so these are nice and weighted. Your pets will likely not knock these over super easily if you have small pets. So I really love those. And look how cute these guys are together. Like, put them in little sets, kind of play with them in the store and see how they might look with your home decor. Once again, the red truck is huge this season for $15. This is kind of a plastered piece. It wasn't like resin, but it wasn't like plastic. I'm not really sure what that was. And that same color family is a super cute metal sign that says welcome to the North Pole. And this little guy is $6. I felt like that was pretty reasonably priced. I'd say he's about a foot and a half tall. Next, um, I know the farmhouse people are loving these big chunky beaded garlands. This one is five feet long. It's these sweater beads for $8. Those are really fun. Um, and then also for $5, these fun Noel and peace signs. Really sweet, very rustic style. You could probably DIY these with a cricket and just some scrap wood, but you know not everyone has a cricket. And so for five bucks, I feel like this is a decently priced item. Next up, speaking of rustic, this is kind of a DIY item. Now they called this um, like a light up deer thing. That is a moose. 
Um, it's not a reindeer. That's a moose. My only concern is these all look like they're kind of falling apart. But I think if you hit it with a little stain or maybe a little paint, this would be really, really fun. So maybe that's a fun DIY idea. Now, this door swag drove me nuts. The bow is very sloppy. For $17, you could do way better at a Hobby Lobby or Michael's. We're going to pass on that for sure. Now, this three-foot garland says peace, and it's in this burlap-y type material. Um, a little heavier than burlap, but just very simple. Now, I saw this random little tree for $3, about $3, $2.78. And I was like, wow, that'd be such a fun DIY, but kind of random. They only have one. Don't worry. There are more and more sizes and varieties. How sweet are these little woodland ornaments for $4? Um, we have two squirrels and an owl. I'm seeing the owls are a very big trend this year, so that's going to be interesting. There is another one of the owls, but look at this big jumbo barn owl. Um, again, $20, really nice quality for what it is. Um, for $6, these are just a cardboard box with some detailing and some picks stuck in them. You could easily dupe that. Um, another fun one, these big wooden wall decor signs and these sleighs. Now I grew up in my grandma's house. She always had things like these sleighs and the big wooden signs on her walls and they were always really fun pieces. So I feel like a lot of people might not recognize that as being very vintage styled, but there's a lot of nostalgia behind this style of pieces. So if that's more of the vibe you're going for, I, I think Walmart really hit it out of the park this year. These trays with the little barn that say farm fresh Christmas trees, I think are so, so sweet. I'd probably hang this on the wall. I don't know if I'd use this as a tray. I just think this is really sweet and definitely fits with my personal home decor. Being a working ranch, we're not super into the uh, whitewashed farmhouse around here, but a red barn, I will always get behind. Now, these are kind of some interesting uh, ornament style wall hangers or jumbo ornaments. Um, now, they're padded, they're fabric, they remind me of embroidery hoops. So that was interesting. And then look at the deer. Last year, everyone went crazy over these reindeer with the plaid and the sweater. And so I'm glad to see that they are back. But if you peep to the side, there are trees to match. We have some more of the boxes again for six bucks. These ones have a little more pizzazz to them. So I'm glad that um, there's a little more going on with those. These, This Joy and the Noel, these remind me a lot of primitive style. Um, and the galvanized is actually painted on, but if you can see that is very clearly plywood. So again, maybe a DIY idea if you're doing craft fairs this year. Now, how cute are all of these little plaid and sweater trees? We're in varying prices from $2.50 all the way to about $5, different sizes. And I think those are so, so cute, especially kid-friendly decor. Next up are these really fun big buckets. The big one is only $10. I was very surprised. And the smaller one, I believe is just under $9, correct it is. Um, oh, there's a price tag below. I don't know what I'm looking at. Two different shades, not a dark green, but not a lime green either. I like that kind of uh, temperate green, if you will. Now this trailer, the trailer is a big trend this year as well for $10, but I was kind of disappointed. It's only corrugated going over the top. The front and the back are just paper that's printed. So that's, that's interesting. Um, this is a interesting take on the antler theme for ornaments. So again, I think that we're going to see a lot of plaids being embraced this year. Now these cutout trees, these are very fun for $10. Variety of sizes and shapes, and then one does have a little bit of corrugated detailing. Now these ornaments caught me off guard because if you guys follow her here on YouTube, Olivia from Olivia's Romantic Home has duped these ornaments from Dollar Tree products for years now. Um, and there, she has a way cheaper way. Don't don't spend two fifty on this. Literally, go look up her videos. You'll see you can make dozens of them way 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 cheaper. So there's a pro tip there. Next up, we are back on the beaded style garland with the plaids and the uh, just traditional Christmas colors. We also have these fun lanterns. Um, I like how they have the flickering flameless inside. Very rustic. Again, very Scandinavian. But I like how the floral on top is not completely frosted and it has a lot of life to it. Remember, we're talking about evergreen trees here. So they stay green all winter long. We have even more beaded garland. Um, this was a huge trend the last few years. I've not seen as much of it in stores this year. Um, I've seen more where you have the felted balls with it. But beaded nonetheless. Okay, so next up we have these fun plaid ornaments. I love the variety of plaids in this box. 
and I like the little bits of greenery on top with the berries. Next, we have the 98 cent picks. Now, Walmart always has a great selection of 98 cent picks. These ones are very glittery. These ones are very much a mistletoe type vibe, and then the white berries as well. So if you're looking for picks for a winter wonderland or a glam Christmas, Walmart definitely will have you covered. On the flip side, if you're looking for more of a traditional glam, they also have a red glitter with more of the pine cones in that style as well for 98 cents. I love finding those on clearance at the end of the season for nine cents though, so keep that in mind. If you're looking for monogram letter ornaments, uh, Walmart has a great selection. They are bright red for $1.98. These are also some fun, interesting picks, and I like how they, they have them wrapped to protect them. That is a huge pet peeve of mine when picks get damaged and there's pretty much no use for them at that point. Next up, I'm seeing a lot of textured ornaments this year, and this aisle is normally where they bring out all their ornaments, and as you can see, it is looking a little bare, so we will come back here in a few days once it is all filled up, but from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of very traditional themes and a lot of very traditional colors and a lot of very family-friendly and whimsical style of items, which Christmas truly is a very whimsical and family-friendly holiday. So I'm glad not to see so much darkness or hands off. More gnomes. Y'all already know I love my gnomes. So I'm happy to see the gnomes for $1.98, but I've actually seen a dupe for that at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So definitely shop around. They've brought back the big poinsettias, and I'm loving this series of rustic ornaments with the deer, the fox, and the bear. Um, I think that these are very traditional, especially if you are Scandinavian and decorating that style, or just a woodsman in general. The bells, I love the bells, and we're actually going to see some great bell ornaments here in just a second. Now, this little pack of ornaments, four for eight dollars, that is kind of a ripoff. You can get a better quality one at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Next up, more owls, of course, and most of this ornament aisle uh, ornaments are $1.98. I love this black and white again with the raised texture. Stunning. Love it. And then the cute little white owl as well. Um, now I didn't want to unpack their boxes. Very Scandinavian. I absolutely love this one. So when it's on shelf, I'm going to go back and grab that one. And then that little llama I thought was really sweet as well. Now I told you that there'd be more bells. If you are Swiss or German, you know the significance of these big cowbells to your culture and Christmas and seeing them for $3.98 is a great steal. Now, sad to see a few broken ornaments already, but they are bringing their glass ornaments out. And I love how they have really fun pops of color. I'll be using these turquoise poinsettias for our big turquoise tree at Circle S. So stay tuned for next month for that video to come out. And I love how they have this really fun, very mid-century modern turquoise and pink color scheme going on, as well as some of these really glamorous ornaments, very princessy. Now, I am obsessed with my Christmas village, so I was hoping to see some of my village pieces already, and they were not quite out yet, but these little tiny trees for 86 cents are a pretty good deal, and they started to bring out a few. So if you got the big stacked villages from last year, they have the new sets that connect to that this year already. They also have this really unique advent calendar. Now, this advent calendar reminds me a lot of things I've seen from Austria, so that one's very interesting. Um, they also have one of the, these fun LED color changing mountain scenes. My mom had one like that when I was a kid. I saw this Christmas farm water tower for $8 and got excited because I definitely will need that for my Christmas farm village. Um, and then a few other touches from this trip. This video actually has two different trips. For $5, this laser cut nativity ornament I thought was really interesting and very nice sized. And then they had a few other of their nativities coming out as well as some of their wall clings and stickies. Um, I know last year these big wall art pieces got popular and this one is a Christmas tree. I thought that was really cool. And the buffalo check is here again. We are seeing lots of these fun uh, different types of garlands with the felted balls and the fabric balls. We have a few tinsel items out. I always love the tinsel cactus. I think that would be really fun in a classroom. Um, and not bad. It's $8. Now this LED musical village is something new. These are really stark white buildings, but these would be absolutely timeless. I love creating villages that can be passed down generation to generation. And 
and all, excuse my hiccups, all of the buildings actually sing the same song. Um, so that way, if you get them in sync with each other, you're not hearing 27 different songs going on at once. So I thought that was interesting. I love this little mint tree, but again, very simplistic and minimalist. And then they have this set of 10 Christmas trees, and I want to say it was for $8. Now, out in the garden section, this light-up plush dino, I thought he was too cute for $20, would love to throw that in a classroom. And then this antler for $4 was really gross, and I do not recommend it. Please pick up the ones at Michael's that look a lot more realistic. Okay, so this was from a different day. For $22, we have another one of those big black resin-type trucks, but it had a wiener dog driving it, and I thought that was really fun. Um, sorry if anyone got offended by me calling it a wiener dog. I know they're actually called dachshunds. Um, <laughs> now they had this Mary, uh, just like shelf sitter in black and in white to suit your style. I also love this little block style house. This would be so cute on the end of a bookshelf. And you can see the back is perfectly flat. And this whole section before we get to the gnomes, which how cute are these gnomes? I love them. The smaller one is $4.98 and the larger one, same three colors, same styling is $6.98. I love how Walmart has taken hints from other companies to match your decor in series and collections. So we've moved from black and white right over into Gnome City. I love the Gnome Garland for $10 and two different sizes of Gnome signs, $4.98 and $6.98. And you can see they have these really fun gnome hats. Excuse the dog collar. He is having a scratch next to me. Um, and then more gnome signs. Peace on Earth with a little gnome for $5. Now, if you know anything about gnomes in mythology and lore, they're anything but peaceful. Santa gnome with a little girl gnome. She's cute for $5. Interesting. Again, very Scandinavian feeling. And with the gnomes are these fun sweater deer. And these guys are so plush. These would be so cute in like a kid's room or a nursery or the family room where you need kid-friendly decor. To go with the gnomes we saw earlier, these very interesting ceramic trees in three different colors. And if you'd prefer a cozy style of decor, but maybe not so many bright colors, these deer with their simple greenery, we have a standing and a laying down sweater material, very, very sweet. Again, very minimalist, very clean, crisp, rustic, woodsy. These trees I thought were so fun with their little glitter for $11. And we have two different sizes. The larger one is a little more expensive at $16, but they're definitely a set. Very cute. They also had this really fun light up uh, rustic house for $15. And the first one's batteries were already dead. So I can tell it's probably going to be popular because everyone's been pressing the lights. Um, the lights were very dim in this one. So not really the biggest bang for your buck. I loved this giant metal barn. This is so cute. I think this might be my favorite thing I've ever seen at a Walmart. I am just overwhelmed by the detail, the brick detail on the bottom. Next door to him was another truck with a golden retriever and a bunch more of the very traditional styles of Christmas. We had this fun It's a Wonderful Life sign for 18. I love when signage uh, kind of breaks with tradition. I love I love this deer. And there's clearly many other styles of that ornament, but I did not want to knock them all down. They also brought back the metal farm fresh type signs from last year. And then this tartan tray I thought was so cute for $20.